going to do with Jess today is, um, seeing, seeing that we're going to have it filmed, I asked her to, uh, oh, we, we decided on something that we're going to read from her mind, which is not too intimate, and something that's not, not private to give away, so you guys can see it as well. And uh, prior to the mind reading, I asked Jess to think up a pin number. It's not going to be her actual pin number. She just made one up that we guys don't know. She didn't tell us what the pin number is. I'm going to try to read that from her mind. So Jess, just don't think of the first digit of your pin number. Do everything not to think about it, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, just look at me and we go. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's an eight. It's the first digit an eight? Yeah. Oh, excellent. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, go for the next digit. This is really good. You're doing really well. Excellent. Just don't think about the second digit, okay? okay. Do everything not to think about it. Okay. You ready? Let's so say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Now, the interesting thing is when people don't think of the second digit, they either consciously or subconsciously concentrate on the third digit. Is the third digit a 4? Yeah. <laughs> so, excellent. <laughs> now, just I got a fairly good idea on what your pin number might be. I'm going to call out four digits. If that is your pin number, give me a high five. Okay. Let's say an eight, one, four, zero. So, excellent, well done. So this is 20 New Zealand cents. I'm just gonna show it to the people at home actually, 20 New Zealand cents. Uh, people in Germany don't know them, but they look a lot more beautiful than uh, the ones we have. And you also get a pen from me. You can open it if you want to. Hold on to it, very good. And just put your initials on the coin. So this coin is unique in the world right now, right? Okay. No, no other coin bears these initials. Very good. Just hold on to it. Just close in your hand. Extend your hand for me, please. Very good. And close your eyes for a moment. Hold up your hand, okay? What I'd like you to do, Jess, is to imagine that you're from your head. You're sending a stream of energy, positive energy, through your shoulder, through your arm, to the coin. Hold on to it real tight, okay? Okay. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Excellent. And you will notice that after a while, the hand will actually become heavy and that the uh, arm will have a tendency to slowly sink down and once you feel the arm becoming heavy just allow it to slowly sink down. You're doing really good and you will notice that with every inch the arm sinks down you can notice the coin becoming warmer in your hand. Just In a moment you're going to feel something really weird happening. Okay. It might take a few seconds. Just tell me once you think that it happened, okay? Just once, once you think the moment happened just, just tell me. It might take a few seconds. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now open your eyes. It's, it's, kind, it's kind, of hard, kind of hard to describe what exactly happens, and most people don't know in the case. Okay, just check out the coin. Oh, what? 